<clears throat> so one thing that we want to understand is which you already know in fact but let's just formalize a few things on magnetism you know there is there are these magnetic properties by means of which you know the so called magnet will exert forces on other magnet or other ferromagnetic substances like iron and nickel and so on so forth right so we already have some notion of a magnet in place now two magnets they exert forces on each other despite being electrically neutral two magnets exert forces on each other despite being electrically neutral right so those forces can't be those forces can't be electrical forces right those forces can't be electrical forces because they are electrically neutral they have no net charge so the forces between them can't be electric forces these forces that they exert on each other are a consequence of charges moving inside matter charges moving inside matter inside atom there is like something like a current in certain substances there is something like a current which is perennially flowing which gives it a property of what is called magnetism now magnetism essentially while electricity or electric fields are about charges at rest a charge at rest can produce an electric field a charge at rest can experience force from other charge or can experience force in an electric field right but when charges are in motion and there is no net charge then there is a different phenomena produced that different phenomena produced by moving charges or currents is actually magnetism is actually magnetism and so even though we study electric fields we then study which is a consequence of uh, charges at rest we study magnetic fields which is because of charges in motion but then they eventually confluence to produce one single entity which is electromagnetism they come together and get unified in a in a larger sense that unification is a consequence of the special theory of relativity we will not perhaps get into those complications at this level but in a very simple sense some things that you understand about a magnet one of course that property of magnetism a substance has magnetism a substance has is because of currents inside matter that is what gives it that property right and very often you have uh looked at what's called a magnet a bar magnet for example with a so called north pole and a south pole right and you perhaps also understand what a north pole means and what a south pole means what it means is when it is suspended freely when this magnet is suspended freely by a thread and is free to rotate and is free to rotate then this will point the north pole will point in the approximately approximately in the ge geographically northern direction of the earth and the south pole will point approximately the geographically southern part of the world right so the geographical south this will point towards roughly a geographical north this will point roughly approximately towards a geographical south based on which this nomenclature is given this is referred to as a north pole and this is referred to as a south pole now <clears throat> in charges you know we spoke of a property called the charge in electric fields we spoke of a property called charge right charge was a property you know it was 
very difficult to explain what a charge is, but all that we said was just like mass, charge is also a property. Hmm? Till date, honestly, I, uh, you know what I would refer to as a mass. I mean, books, books uh, write it very frivolously as the amount of matter contained in a body. That is nonsense. That is nonsense. Okay. So in any case, we put it in a black box and we call it a property. The charges, you know, we have positive charges, we have negative charges. Again, you know, there is nothing like a positive or negative charge. That's only convention that we call one kind of charge as positive and the other kind of charge is negative. But there is nothing like a positive or negative charge, you know. They have some difference in properties because of which one kind is called positive, the other. Now, similarly, in magnetism, we have what's called a pole strength, a pole strength. Just like charges, plus Q, minus Q, we have what's called a pole strength. Pole strength, again, is a property of a pole. A north pole, a south pole. A north pole is assigned a positive value of pole strength. A south pole is assigned a negative value of the pole strength. It's a scalar quantity. Just like charges are scalars, pole strength. A north pole is assigned plus m, pole strength m. A south pole is assigned a negative value of pole strength. This is pole strength, which is a scalar quantity. And <clears throat> so, so let's say this is the north pole. North and south approximately occur at the ends of the magnet, occur approximately at the ends. Not exactly at the ends, but slightly less than the ends, slightly away from the ends, the north pole and south pole are. And so this, this is like plus n, pole strength plus n, and this is like minus n, pole strength. Although charges could occur in isolation, poles could occur in isolation. Poles can't occur in an isolated. You can't have an isolated north pole. You can't have an isolated south pole. You can't have that. But for calculations, we imagine isolated north poles and isolated south poles for calculations. Now, you might want to be tempted to believe, hey, if I cut this magnet into two, will I not get an isolated north pole and an isolated south pole? No. What you will get is this part and this part. This will remain north, this will remain south, this will turn south and this will turn north. This is what would happen if you cut it into two, then this end will become south, this end will become north. So you can't isolate poles, you can't isolate poles, okay? Now, <clears throat> but <clears throat> again, magnetic fields, are produced just like electric fields are produced by charges, magnetic fields are produced by poles. Magnetic fields are produced by poles. So what I do is, if I imagine, imagine to kari sakte nahi hai to kya hua? An isolated pole. Of pole strength M. M positive hoga, so it will be a north pole. M negative hoga, so it will be a south pole. Okay. Imagine an isolated pole of pole strength M. Then, just like a isolated charge can produce an electric field, we can mentally imagine that an isolated pole can produce what is called a magnetic field. And if this is a isolated, imagine it to be an isolated pole at a distance r. We end up getting a magnetic field B produced by M. Produced by M, we define as B equal to mu naught by 4 pi m 
बाय आर स्क्वायर इनवर्स स्क्वायर लॉ थ्री उसमें क्या था के क्यू बाय आर स्क्वायर था इसमें के की जगह न्यू नॉट बाय फोर पाई है न्यू नॉट इज परमिएबिलिटी ऑफ फ्री स्पेस न्यू नॉट इज इन इन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वी हैड परमिटिविटी राइट वन बाय फोर पाई एप्स और नॉट था परमिटिविटी इन दिस केस न्यू नॉट इज परमिएबिलिटी ऑफ फ्री स्पेस And mu naught by four pi has a value ten to the power minus seven SI units. Mu naught by four pi, जैसे k का value तो nine into ten to the power nine one by four pi epsilon naught था. Mu naught by four pi is about magnetism, whereas epsilon naught was about electricity. It's like ten to the power minus seven SI units. ठीक है? Yes. Yes. Sir. Now. <laughs> so a pole can produce a magnetic field abhi ye magnetic field karta kya hai if in this region this pole has produced a magnetic field then another pole imagine it imagine to be placed anywhere in that region will experience a force b is b at this point is the force experienced by a unit pole force experienced per unit pole when placed at this point वहां पे क्या था फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस पर यूनिट चार्ज था यहां होगा फोर्स एक्सपीरियंस पर यूनिट पोल दैट मींस इफ आई इमेजिन अ टेस्ट पोल टू बी प्लेस्ड एट पी एट पी सपोज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी है सपोज एट पी द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय सम अदर पोल मोनोपोल इमेजिन इट टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय सम अदर मोनोपोल ये मोनोपोल हां व्हिच इज म्यू नॉट बाय 4 पाई नाउ इफ आई इमेजिन अ पोल अ M prime, another pole of strength M prime to be placed here, then it will experience a force which is like M prime into B, M prime into B. B is what force experience. अगर यहाँ पे एक unit pole ex रखते तो it would have experienced a force B, B newtons. So if I place a pole of pole strength M prime, it will experience a force M prime into B. So what is B? B at a point. Would have been B is produced obviously by some other pole, right? But here, if we have another pole, we will so experience a force. B is produced by this and is experienced by some other test pole, right? <clears throat> so, force experienced by a pole M prime when placed at a point where the magnetic field is B is going to be M prime into B. Yes or no? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, yes. sir. इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड की जगह मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आ गया इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूस बाय चार्जेस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूस बाय पोल्स और कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ पोल्स ठीक है एंड सी मैग्नेटिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूस बाय पोल ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ एम गोस इनवर्सली स्क्वायर ऑफ द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द पोल यस यस सर यस सर और नाउ If there is a magnetic field be produced by a pole or combination of poles by a magnet or combination of magnets or some other by, by some other means, if a magnetic field be is produced, then and if in this region suppose I keep a compass needle north south end, the north pole will always experience a force in the direction of the field, just like a positive charge will experience a force in the direction of the electric field. A north pole will always experience a force in the direction of the field, whereas a south pole will experience a force opposite to the direction of it. A north pole will experience a force in the direction of the magnetic field. A south pole will experience a force opposite to the direction of the magnetic field. Magnetic field. And what would be the magnitude of this force? If its pole strength m is, so it will experience a force m into b in this direction. Right? If the pole strength is ka m, is ka minus m will be always. So this will be. They will experience a force m into b in this direction. B is produced by some other pole or some other magnet. Some other magnetic substance has produced a magnetic field. Just a jo pawn experience kar raha hai. This magnet is experiencing this. These poles are experiencing that. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. now if I have a magnet, say. 
से एक मैग्नेट है इट हैज अंथ ज्योमेट्रिक लेंथ एल जी एल जी इज द ज्योमेट्रिक लेंथ और इसका एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन ए है एल जी इज द एक्चुअल लेंथ हाँ एंड सपोज दिस इज द नॉर्थ पोल एंड से दिस इज द साउथ पोल ऑफ दिस मैग्नेट से दिस इज द नॉर्थ पोल दिस द साउथ पोल ये कैसे पता पड़ेगा कौन सा नॉर्थ है कौन सा साउथ है यू सस्पेंड इट फ्रीली सो दैट इज वे यू विल नो कौन सा नॉर्थ पोल है कौन सा साउथ पोल है राइट सो दिस इज द नॉर्थ पोल दिस इज द साउथ पोल नाउ दिस हैज मैग्नेटिक स्ट्रेंथ है पोल सॉरी पोल स्ट्रेंथ है इसका पोल स्ट्रेंथ माइनस है ये स्केलर क्वांटिटी है पोल स्ट्रेंथ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज वेक्टर पर पोल स्ट्रेंथ लाइक चार्ज इज स्केलर हां नाउ एम Will the pole strength will depend on area of cross section. Pole strength will depend on area of cross section. Hey, मतलब अब क्या होगा ना suppose I so the same thing if I were to half the area, this area को half कर दे suppose इसको suppose I were to half this area. सपोज ये ए बाई टू कर देते बाई सब मीन्स इसको ए बाई टू कर देते लेंथ पर नहीं डिपेंड करेगा इट नॉट डिपेंड ऑन देंथ पोल स्ट्रेंथ विल नेवर डिपेंड ऑन लेंथ पोल स्ट्रेंथ विल नॉट डिपेंड ऑन लेंथ ऑन लेंथ एल जी ज्योमेट्रिक लेंथ ए बट विल बट is directly proportional to the area area of cross section directly proportional to the area of cross section matlab iska agar area half ho jayega same material ka to iska pole strength kya ho jayega m by 2 ho jayega ye north pole hai ye south pole hai ये m by two हो जाएगा, this will become minus m by two. Pole strength will be directly proportional to the area of cross section. पर length को काट दोगे ना, अगर if you break it up into two, दो, तो ना pole strength बदलेगा नहीं, then pole strength will not change. Pole strength will be directly proportional to area, but will not depend on the geometric length of the magnet. ठीक है? Yes. 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 Yes.
into the magnetic length ln not geometric length but magnetic length or magnetic length hai na is roughly 0.84 times the geometric length a rough calculation very close to the geometric length very close to the geometric length but slightly less than the geometric is 16% less than the geometric length as you can see but for calculations for calculations if you 0.84 se multiply karke ye magnetic length nikalna so you will know the geometric length magnetic length to aise calculate karna padega na so what we do is isko kareeb kareeb na for calculations we take m into lg m into lg le lete approximately approximately lm approximately lg le lete for calculations m is the pole strength of each end and lg the geometric length this is an approximation this is magnetic dipole moment of the magnet magnetic dipole moment of the pair of poles hmm. now <laughs> ye vector hai this is a vector dipole moment just like dipole moment in electric field magnetic dipole moment is also a vector magnetic dipole moment is also a vector <clears throat> and this vector is from south to north pole always directed from south to north always directed from south to north always directed from south to north pole matlab negative sir positive negative pole strength to positive pole strength is the direction of this right yes sir yes sir yes sir agar koi magnet aisa hai na horseshoe magnet you know it's like this right this is a horseshoe magnet suppose iska ye north hai ye south hai iska pole strength m hai iska pole strength minus m hai isme na ye length nahi lenge isme we will take the direct length from south to north magnetic dipole moment suppose this length is ln this length then will be m into n yahan se ye length lenge ye wala length nahi lenge direct length hoga that will be the magnetic dipole moment that will be the magnetic dipole moment ye wala length hoga m into this and from south to north negative magnetic moment to positive magnetic moment is the direction okay yes yes, yes. now this was some idea of you know some extension of uh, magnets that you knew what is meant by a magnetic field now you know pole strength you know magnetic field produced by an isolated pole mu not by 4 pi m by r square kind of a thing some of these things now that you understand what a magnetic field is let me get to the more relevant stuff hmm? suppose this is a very long current carrying wire and say it's carrying a current say it's carrying a current and there is a charge q say positive charge q at rest there is a charge q at rest kya ho how will this charge q respond to this current 
how will this charge flow respond to this current? A charge at rest will experience forces only because of electric fields. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Force experience nahi kar sakta a charge at rest. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rest can experience forces only because of electric fields, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Now, see a current carrying conductor. If you take any cross section, if you take any length. The number of positive charges at any given instant of time over that length will be equal to number of negative charges. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So current flow kya hota hai? Ye rahega always electrically neutral. This will always remain electrically neutral. Current flow karne se kya hota hai? Hai electrically neutral hai. Ah, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so obviously there will be no force. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This charge at rest experiences no force from the wire since the wire is electrically neutral. Since the wire is electrically neutral. It will experience force from charges. It can't experience force from zero charge. It's a zero net charge. So there will be no force. Okay. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, this is situation. Huh? Situation two. This is a current carrying wire. This time what I do is, this charge Q, this charge Q is now imparted a velocity V. Is now imparted a velocity V, say parallel to the current carrying path. In the direction of the current, it's imparted a velocity V parallel to the current. Now what happens is, now what happens is this charge deflects towards the wire. This charge deflects towards the wire. That means what? The direction of its velocity has changed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means it must have got accelerated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means it must have experienced a force. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First, you experience a force. Now, this force, it couldn't have been an electrical force. No, sir. Yes, sir. Because this is, if you give it a velocity, it doesn't mean you know, this will suddenly get charged. This will still be electrically neutral. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But this experiences a force. And if it experiences a force, it will deflect. If it is direction, we find that it gets attracted. If it is attracted, Velocity it would have got repelled. Do we? It experiences a force. Now this force is not electrical. It's now we say well the force that it experiences is magnetic. Force experience now is magnetic. Right? What on earth? Yeah. What on earth? I can't see a magnet. God damn it. Where on earth is it experiencing a magnetic force? Well, if I have if I have a current carrying wire and in the proximity of the wire if I had to place a compass needle, if I had to place a compass needle, that this compass needle will deflect. Compass needle will deflect that was the experiment that Oersted performed. Oersted's experiment. 
Now, a compass needle can deflect only in a magnetic field. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Compass yes, sir. needle to magnetic field may deflect karega na? Ah, oh, sir. Isa matlab kya hua? This current carrying wire must be producing a magnetic field in its surroundings. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Compass needle deflects, implying. The current carrying wire must have produced a magnetic field to which the compass needle responds. A compass needle will respond only to a magnetic field. That means a current carrying wire does produce a magnetic field in its surroundings. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Ab yeah, ye baat to hai. This is sure, right? That a current carrying wire is having a magnetic influence. In fact, like I told you, magnetism itself is because of internal currents in material. So it is not surprising that a current carrying wire. Looked at independently, artificially produced. This is artificially produced current. Substances have inherent currents inside them because of which they have natural magnetism. But magnetism can be produced. A magnetic field can be produced if we can allow a current to flow. Then in that surroundings, it can produce a magnetic influence. Hmm? Now the point is, ये तो ठीक है. This is all right. This is no debate on this, right? But now look at these two situations. How funny! This charge at rest didn't experience electric field, and since it remained at rest, it experienced no magnetic force also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Again, yes, sir. Now, charge in motion. Surely, it didn't experience electric field, but it experienced a force which could have been only magnetic. This force. Could have been electric. It must have been magnetic, because this is electrically neutral. Yeah, so electric force. Such that it must have been magnetic forces. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. So force experienced is magnetic, but the funda there is that one conclusion that I could draw out of this pair is that static charges. Will not respond to magnetic fields, but moving charges will respond to magnetic fields. Charges at rest, charges at rest, won't respond to magnetic fields. Charges in motion. Will respond to magnetic fields. Magnetic fields, right? Yes, sir. This is clear. Now, I will put you through a puzzling state. यहाँ तक तो सब ठीक है. All looks rosy. All looks good. I have come to the conclusion that a current carrying wire. Produces a magnetic field in its surroundings because a compass needle responds to that magnetic field. Uh, I have also come to a conclusion that if there is a charge at rest, its interaction there will be no interaction with the magnetic field produced by this. Although it's producing a magnetic field, this charge at rest will not respond, but a charge in motion will respond to the magnetic field. Right? Yes, sir. Now. Now the point is, of the point, confusion. So far, so good, right? All is good so far. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so what we saw was this was a current carrying wire. This charge too. Was given a velocity v, 
and it will deflect. It will deflect. And I said, this is because a moving charge will respond to a magnetic field and therefore it experiences a force in the magnet. All right. But the point is, motion or rest is only relative, right? It depends on the observer. This charge is in motion because there is an observer at rest finding it to be in motion, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. And this rest must also be because of must also be because of some observer, it's at rest. This motion is also because of some observer, right? Yes, yes, sir. Surely the forces are not electrical because this conductor is electrically neutral. Current flow करने से उस charge नहीं हो जाता है conductor. रहता electrically neutral है, right? Which means now answer this. If there is a current I flow and there is a charge T, which is given a velocity V with respect to an observer O1. O1 is at rest. ठीक है? इस observer के relative to this observer it's given a velocity V upwards. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at another so some observer. Look at another observer O2, which is moving with a velocity parallel to this charge. So now here they go. Relative to this observer, this charge is at rest. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it's like this relative to this observer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. क्या ये deflect नहीं करेगा? Laws of motion fail कर जाएगा. How is it possible? This fellow finds this guy to be deflecting like this. So will this I not find the distribution the charge in the current to decrease it? Well, yes, sir. तो साला अचानक क्या हो गया यार? अबे, what a number, what a number. I mean, I would expect. That this observer finds no velocity on this charge, and it should act crazy. What is happening? What is happening now? Say, boy, last ka part ek baar sir. So, ham kya keh rahe beta? Ki if there is a charge at rest, it will experience, if at all, only electrical force. But electrical force won't be able to do it because it's electrically neutral. Yes, sir. Right? If the charge is in motion, it will deflect. It will experience a magnetic force, no electrical force. So in this case, no electric force. Why? Because Fire is neutral, and no magnetic force because it's at rest. In this case, no electrical force. This is all with respect to an observer O1, which is at rest. Okay. No electric force. Same reason, because this is electrically neutral. And magnetic force. So no electric force. Magnetic force because of motion. Refer to this observer. It's at rest. If it's at rest, it should not deflect. Yes, sir. Because it's not electrical force and no magnetic force. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With respect to this observer, this the velocity of this charge is zero, so it's like this. So there should be no electrical and no magnetic force. But still, this observer will it not find it to deflect? So, sir, deflect? Where is it doing? Magnetic force? So, how can it deflect? 
because yes. with respect to the observer this charge is at rest so then the force between the charge in the current couldn't have been magnetic yes sir yes sir charge in the rest here with respect to the observer then there can be no magnetic forces acting on the charge yes but, sir but it is true that it is not deflecting because of magnetic forces as seen by this observer it is deflecting but this time not because of magnetic forces because magnetic forces will depend on relative motion and there is no relative motion what then causes the deflection is the question what happens is something that i will perhaps explain at the end of the session but i will just tell you some basics about it uh, what happens is now i have keep there is if there is a length l not is a length l not koi length l not kisi bhi cheez ka and there is an observer moving with a velocity v and there is an observer moving with a velocity v then from theory of relativity now we can prove that this length is not l not ye length l not nahi dikhega isko ye length isko dikhega the length observe this is actual length pq actual length observed l will actually be l not by root 1 minus v square by c square actual length observed would be l not by root 1 minus v square by c square ye actual length dekhega isko so l not se kam hua ye length yes sir yes sir so it's different from l not this is called this phenomena is called contraction length contraction contraction of length this is called contraction of length length will be different same length nahi dikhega usko alag length dikhega this is out of relativity but we will not get into this business all that i want you to know is that there is a length contraction of it. there is a actual length contraction that happens now now please listen to me very carefully yes if this observer finds no relative motion with this charge then this charge as seen by this observer will experience no magnetic forces but it still getting attracted surely it must be because of some other phenomenon i will explain can i wipe this off have you do you understand ki in in relativistic mechanics if an observer moves then the length l not actual length l not will not be l not it will be different from l not that's because of special theory of relativity now what happens is see isme kya ho raha actually the current is in this direction positive charges are fixed right in metallic conductors positive charges are fixed and जो नेगेटिव चार्जेस है दे आर मूविंग ऑपोजिट टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करंट राइट नेगेटिव चार्जेस आर मूविंग लाइक दिस एंड पॉजिटिव चार्जेस आर फिक्स दैट इज व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन अ करंट मूव्स दिस इज द कन्वेंशनल डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करंट ऑपोजिट टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक करंट सो व्हाट हैपेंस यस सर यस सर नाउ इट्स एज इफ इमेजिन दिस टू बी टू वायर्स दो वायर्स होते इसको दो वायर की तरह इमेजिन करो एक जिसमें फिक्स पॉजिटिव चार्जेस है और एक जिसमें ये अलग अलग बना रहे हैं तो एक ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन इसमें नेगेटिव चार्जेस है जो कि फ्लो कर रहे नेगेटिव चार्जेस दैट आर फ्लो फिक्स पॉजिटिव चार्जेस बट नेगेटिव चार्जेस मूविंग इन दिस डिरेक्शन दैट्स व्हाट दिस प्रोड्यूस राइट यस यस सर now is case mein in the negative so now when this observer o2 moves in this direction with a velocity v o2 moves in this direction with a velocity v 
Then <laughs> its velocity with respect to okay, its velocity with respect to me. Sorry, Sobhali, you saying something? Its velocity with respect to these negative charges is different from its velocity with respect. Sorry, sir, it was a passive noise from side. So now what happens is if I look at a length L naught, which was or electrically neutral, a length L naught of this wire which was electrically neutral. What is this? This L naught will not look like L naught for this wire, and this L naught will not look like L naught for this wire. They will now have different lengths with respect to this observer. Yes, sir. Yes. Different lengths will be. So charge density is there, and it will be different. Yes, sir. The charge density. So over a length L naught, it will not look electrically neutral for this observer. This observer will. This length L naught. Is positive charge के लिए दिख रहा है और negative charge L naught is different and the L naught for the negative charge is different. That means now over the same length we have different amounts of charges. Yes, yes sir. That means now for yes, the observer the length L naught is not electrically neutral. Yes, yes sir. sir. And because it is not electrically neutral, this force that it experiences as seen by this observer is an electric force. ये ऑब्जर्वर इसीलिए ये इलेक्ट्रिक फोर्स देखता है यू नो व्हाट आई एम यस सर। यस सर। सर क्या हो रहा है असेंशियली क्या हो रहा है यू नो सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन वन थिंग सो सो असेंशियली यू नो टोटल फोर्स सेम ही रह रहा है बी इट द अर्लियर केस अर्लियर केस वेयर यू नो द चार्ज वॉज गिवेन अलॉसिटी बी There was a current I, and there was this observer O, right? This observer fixed reported a deviation on this charge, and he said it's only because of this observer said it's only because of magnetic forces, not electric forces. This observer said it's not because of magnetic forces; it's only because of electric forces. Yes, sir. But both of them. So here, what happened with respect to this observer and this observer? They are essentially reporting the same end effect, but are assigning different reasons. This guy is saying it's happening because of it's happening right. because of right. magnetic fields, yes, sir. magnetic forces. This guy says same force, same deviation, sab kuch same. But this guy says it's happening because of electric field. Electric field. Electric field. Isko kya nahi dikh raha? Because isme koi length contraction nahi ho raha. फोर्स विच इज प्योरली इलेक्ट्रिक नो मैग्नेटिक अब एक तीसरा आदमी हो सकता था So now there is a current I, ठीक है? There is a charge Q, which is imparted a velocity V. There is a fixed observer O1. There is an observer O2, which is B, and there is an observer O3, which is say V, V prime. Three observer, एक fixed है, एक moving with a velocity V, another one. V one different from V. This guy will report only electrical forces. Uh, sorry, only magnetic oh, forces. Oh. Reports only magnetic magnetic forces. This guy O two, which is moving in tandem, will say no, no magnetic force here because relative velocity zero is. Huh? Will report. Only electric forces. Is me electric? Is ko kya dikhega? Because of length contraction, relativistic length contraction. But no magnetic because relative velocity zero. Hai. And this guy will report both. Because iske karan bhi yah length contraction ho raha. Yes sir. Yes sir. Guy, 
will think that there is net charge in the conductor? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. The relative velocity of this guy with respect to this is not zero. So it will also report magnetic. Yes, sir. So this guy reports magnetic as well as electric. Sir, magnetic attack by Bolman. Which, which? HL attack. Moving with a velocity V. Yes, sir. Huh? And magnetic forces are only because of relative motion. If there is yes, no sir. relative motion, there will be no magnetic. But it still finds that this is deflecting. And why is it deflecting? It's because now. This, because it's moving, there is a length contraction here, and he no longer finds uh, the positive and negative charge densities cancelling each other because of length contraction. Yes. Sir. And therefore, there is electric interaction between Q and this, as perceived by this guy, but no magnetic because he can the relative velocity ta should not it. Whereas this guy, there is relative motion, so he will report magnetic. Also, there is actual motion, so also length contraction, so electric. So this is this guy reports only magnetic. This guy reports only electric. This guy reports magnetic as well as electric. But all the three, O1, O2, O3, will report the same deflection, will report the same total force. Yes. yes. The net effect would be the same. One would think it has happened only because of electrical reasons. One would think it has happened only because of magnetic reasons. One would think it has happened because of electric and magnetic reasons. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So essentially, then, kya hai, you know, which means it's as if aisa lag rahe, aisa mehsus ho rahe. when I go from this observer to this observer, all the magnetic has got converted into electrical. Or yes, when sir. I go from this observer to this observer, it looks like all magnetic has got, uh, sorry, all magnetic, when I go to this observer, from this observer to this observer, it's like complete transformation from magnetic to electric. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. When I go from this observer to this observer, it seems like all the electric has got converted into magnetic. And if I go from this observer to this observer, this observer was purely electric. This observer was, was electric as well as magnetic. Some part of the electric has got converted into magnetic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is it? Magnetic and electric must be part of the same fabric. relativity. Classical relativity started merging with uh, classical electromagnetism started merging with relativistic mechanics, where they said actually electric and magnetic fields, you know, they are closely related. They talk to each other based on the frame of reference. Do you realize it's the frame of reference that is suggesting? whether it's purely electric, purely magnetic, or a combination of both. So it depends on the frame of reference. That means deep down, they are the same. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now. Sir, when we plus charge star contraction, minus charge star change, why change? Why change? Why change? Why change? Why change? Because relative velocity with the wire is different. Uh -huh. charge density over a given length for the observer. Positive charge density or negative charge density alada alada Consequently, yeah. net charge over a length L0 will not be zero reported by this observer. It is non-zero. Follow electric force ash. Kitu zero relative velocity and magnetic forces zero. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Uh -huh. This is actually Lorentz contraction. This change of length because of relative motion is actually Lorentz contraction. It's a very fascinating world. Unfortunately, you know, we, we really don't have the time to do all that, but it's very fascinating. I wish, you know, we had uh, five years to teach for Jay. Jubie. Abhi toh hum log tum log ko physics padhai nahi paate. Abhi toh bekhu bana ke chhod dete. 
दस तो बीस तो सवाल लंबा चौड़ा करा देते सोचते तुम फिजिक्स सीख गए सो मच मोर देर इज सो मच मोर नाउ सो वन थिंग फॉर श्योर अ करंट कैरिंग वायर प्रोड्यूस अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड in which magnetic field is what a region in which either a moving charge will experience a force or some other magnet when placed or a monopole will experience a force yes or no yes so, so what we have is a current carrying wire current carrying element produces a magnetic field in its surroundings in this region a magnet another magnet can experience a force or a moving charge can experience a force राइट वो तो ठीक है सब ठीक है बट द पॉइंट इज वी नीड टू नो अ वे टू कैलकुलेट दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वी नीड टू नो अ वे टू कैलकुलेट दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू हैॉट इन इफ देर इज अ वैक्टर ए and there is a vector b and the angle between a and b is theta then you remember cross product a cross b yes sir a cross b would be a vector c and how do you find the direction of c calling the finger in terms of theta it it to be of a c which is a cross b a right handed screw lock और ए टू बी रोटेटेड फ्रॉम ए टू बी ए पहला है बी बात का सो ए से बी में रोटेट करो द डायरेक्शन इन विच द स्क्रू एडवांसेस विल बी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ सी सो इन दिस केस व्हाट इन द फिगर अब अब इस साइड ऑफ द प्लेन क्रॉस बी इज इनटू द प्लेन ऑफ द पेपर यस सर बी है ना That's the that's the vector a cross b into the plane. अगर ऐसा रहता, say say this is b, this is a, and this is theta. And if I have to talk of b cross a, b cross a is a vector d. And very clearly, b cross a comes out of the plane of the board. Yes, sir. B cross a comes out right. B से a में स्कूल होगे तो plane के बाहर आएगा. Comes out of the plane of the board. अच्छा मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी कैसे ये तो डायरेक्शन ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी आई नो इट्स सो ए क्रॉस बी विल बी परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्लेन कंटेनिंग ए एंड बी है ना यस सर यस सर विल बी परपेंडिकुलर टू द प्लेन कंटेनिंग ए एंड now so a cross b also has a magnitude which is like magnitude of a into magnitude of b into sin theta right aur agar tumko yaad hai agar a a is say ax i cap plus a by j cap 
plus AZK cap and B is say BXI cap plus BYJ cap plus BZK cap. I hope all of you remember that A cross B can be obtained from this determinant. I, J, K, AX, AY, AZ, and BX, BY, BZ. Right? Yeah, there is, sir. Yes, sir. You can? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, can I write this out? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, we'll first look at what different current carrying by what kind of magnetic fields are produced by different current carrying wires, right? Yes. First of all, what we need to know is if there is a small current carrying tiny element, tiny element, dl, dl. If there is a tiny element. Infinitesimally small, tiny element. Designated by DL. DL is always along the tangent to the wire. DL is always along the tangent to the wire. And DL takes you on the wire from the point to the neighboring point of the wire. Remember yes, the work power energy I told you? Yes, yes sir. DL always tangent to the wire, right? current carrying wire. And it will take you from the point to the immediately neighboring point on the wire. That's the mathematical construct of DL. Hmm. So tiny element DL carrying current I I say <coughs> will produce at a point P. एक पॉइंट P है कैसे लोकेट करोगे ये P है दिस इज द वेक्टर पोजीशन वेक्टर ऑफ P एज सीन बाय ओ राइट व्हिच इज पोजीशन वेक्टर ऑफ P माइनस पोजीशन वेक्टर ऑफ ओ दिस वेक्टर इज ओ आर राइट प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अ पॉइंट प्रोड्यूस्ड एट अ पॉइंट P अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड db which is given by the following mu not by 4 pi the current it carries take dl cross r and suppose magnitude of r is op which is r magnitude of r is op distance from o to p Right, O be located at that DL tiny element, DL cross R divided by R cube. So where what is R? R is the distance from O. That's a magnetic field produced by a tiny current, infinitesimally small current carried by mu not by four pi I. DL is this vector tangent cross R by R cube. DL is that small length of the conductor carrying current. The small length of the conductor carrying current. Okay? Yes. Yes, sir. So. <coughs> this. Is called Bio Savart law, not Biot. Bio Savart law. This is Bio Savart law. By the way, the unit of magnetic field, I'll discuss that, is measured in what's called Tesla. SI unit is Tesla. Magnetic field is measured in what's called Tesla. Tesla is the SI unit of magnetic field. Now, so what I look at is a finite length of, the, of a conductor carrying a current I, and I want to be able to compute the magnetic field at a certain point because of a current carrying, finite current carrying. This is infinitesimally small current carrying wire of length dl at a point P, u naught by 4 pi I dl cross R, this vector cross R. In this case, for example, dl cross R would be into the plane of the board. And suppose this angle is theta, then dl cross r would have a magnitude which is like dl into r into sin theta, right? That will be the magnitude of dl cross r. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Now, Suppose I take a finite wire, straight wire, carry a current. To compute magnetic field. At a point distant, distant R from this line. So, to a wire, this is a wire, straight finite wire, and it carries a current. Hmm. There is a point P whose distance from this wire, perpendicular distance from this wire is R. Is P to exactly locate kaise karengi? Do angles se locate. This angle say is and say this angle is theta one. This angle is theta two, this angle is theta one. At this point, because R alone cannot tell me where exactly the point is located, na? Yahan par bhi R le sakte te, yahan par bhi R le sakte te, it could be anywhere. So theta one and theta two will together tell me, will together tell me where this point is. I want to compute the magnetic field at P because of this. So what I'll do is in principle, say this was, this was uh, say M, some point, it's not the midpoint, M is not the midpoint. What I'll do is I'll break this wire into small little elements. Say element I select at a length L from from the foot of the perpendicular. This is the foot of the perpendicular. I select a length dl. I select the length dl of this current carrying wire. I'll compute the magnetic field at P because of this dl. And I'll sum it up for all the dls that I can obtain from P to Q. I'll compute the magnetic field because of this dl at P. And I'll sum up the magnetic fields because of all such DLs at P. This is what I'm going to do. Okay. Yes, yes sir. Now, one thing as far as this DL is concerned, its distance is almost like a point element, right? Its distance from P is given by R. Right? That's what, right? Yes, sir. And this could be located by theta. This R could be located by theta. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nothing. Just to remove the clutter. This is DL, the length DL at a distance L from L. This is small r, and this is T. Capital R pata hai, hai? Capital R pata hai. Small r kya ho jayega? Small r will be. As you can see, 
capital R sec theta ka small r will be cap ye dekho right angle triangle hai so small r by capital r is sec theta small r will be capital r sec theta right is a function of theta so small r is very as you select different ds different ds will be for different will have different values of small r because they will be at different thetas different ds will be at different thetas hai na yes sir. yes sir what about l l as you can see again l by r is tan theta so l is r tan theta capital r pata hai yes or no yes sir now uh, ये जो डीएल था इसका डायरेक्शन ये था ऐसा इसका डायरेक्शन अपवर्ड्स इन द डायरेक्शन डीएल इज ऑलवेज सिलेक्टेड इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द करंट यस यस सो सो एस पॉइंट को कुछ पॉइंट बोल दो पी अच्छा ये पी क्यों बोलते हैं इसको कुछ इसको पी मत इसको पी बोल दो इसको कुछ और बोल दो तो आर ले लिया एस ले लिया टी बोल टी बोल इसको टी बोल कॉल इट टी बिकॉज़ यू नो आई हैव सिलेक्टेड दिस पॉइंट ओके दिस वाज डीएल at this point this is the point p and this is the vector r this is the vector r this the length is small r yes or no this is gl as you can see this is r which is locating this point where i am trying to compute the magnetic field yes sir now see magnetic field is given by what by this dl this vector dl at the point p will be given by u not by 4 pi i this vector dl cross r divided by r cube small r is the length r is this vector right then i'll give me the magnetic field at p because of this dl yes or no yes yes sir. yes sir yes sir and what's the direction of this dv What's the direction of this dv produced by the shown dl? By the dl selected. क्या होगा? देखो, dl cross r will give me the direction, ना? Yes, sir. dv का direction will be the same as the direction of dl cross r. अब देखो, dl is like this, r is like this. dl cross r. dl se r mein ghumaoge screw if you rotate a screw from dl to r will it not go into the plane of the board from dl to r yes, yes sir yes sir yes sir. cross r is into the plane of the board right let me change my marker just a moment clearly dl cross r goes into the plane of the board so db has the same direction as dl cross r Just into the plane. Henceforth, you know this will mean into the plane of the board, and this symbol would mean out of the plane of the board. This into means into the plane of the board. This dot means out of the plane of the board. Henceforth, ठीक okay? है? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, so dv का direction is the same as dl cross r का direction because the rest all is scalar, right? So now all the dls. Clearly, have you copied this? Yes, sir. So, कोई भी DL तुम सिलेक्ट करोगे यहाँ से वहाँ तक, फिर भी into the plane ना? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the DLs selected from Q to P. Q to P. I'm sorry. T to Q, T to Q, T to Q. यहाँ से DL सारा सिलेक्ट करोगे ना? From T to Q, 
will produce TV into the plane. Hence, so all the dB is produced by various GLCs into the plane only now. So I can add dBs like I add scalars. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, so, right? Hence, the dBs could be some some vectors same direction. Me, so I can add them like I add scalars, right? Yes, sir. So. Like we add scalars. तो Is ninety degrees plus theta, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. So, dB का magnitude क्या हो? dB का magnitude हो जाएगा. Because अब अब खाली magnitude जाट कर रहा है क्योंकि सब dBs का same direction है into. So I need to add magnitudes of dBs. dB would be magnitude of dB would be mu naught by four pi i. DL cross R का magnitude लेना होगा? Yes, DL sir. cross R का magnitude would be DL into R into sine ninety plus theta, right? DL magnitude of DL into magnitude of R into sine ninety plus theta. Yes, sir. Cross product का definition divided by R cube. That'll be the magnitude of dB going into the plane of the board at P produced by this current carrying element. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which is like mu naught by four pi i dl by r squared. अच्छा sine ninety plus theta क्या होता है? Cos theta. Cos theta. Cos theta होता है. Second quadrant में है तो cos theta आएगा और one into ninety है तो it will get converted into cos. Cos theta. That's the dB and this dB go the This is the magnitude of the magnetic field produced by this at P, and it goes into the plane. All the dBs are into the plane, sub same direction. Me produced by all dBs from P to Q, right? Yes, sir. अच्छा अब हमको यहाँ पे देखो D L R सब theta के terms में लिखना है. Small R का कोई problem नहीं है. Capital R sec theta. अब L ये है ना. L is R tan theta. So D L क्या है ना R L L ये है which is capital R tan theta. Yes sir. So D L क्या हो जाएगा? D L will be R R sec square theta d theta. Because D L d theta हो जाएगा R sec square theta. So D L will be R sec square theta d theta, right? Yes sir. Yes sir. So then अब वापस आ जाओ इसमें D में सब theta के terms में लिखो. Mu naught by four pi i DL I write as R sec square theta d theta, right? Into cos theta, the cos theta divided by small r square. Hey, ये कट गया था ना इसलिए small r square, small r square हो गया अब तो r square sec square. That's a dB going into the plane of the board. All dBs are going into the plane of the board. So I can sum sum up all the dBs. The net B at P would be sum of all of this. Where? Up theta? How is it varying? Look. All the theta is about this reference line. This direction is positive. Take this direction is negative. Look. Look. This DL locate. For this is theta. 
जो यहाँ पे डीएल लोगे ना उसके लिए थीटा विल बी वॉट माइनस थीटा वन थीटा रन फ्रॉम माइनस थीटा वन टू प्लस थीटा टू थीटा विल रन फ्रॉम ये देखो दिस इज थीटा वन एंड दिस इज थीटा टू So, theta कैसे वेरी कर रहा है फ्रॉम माइनस थीटा वन टू प्लस थीटा टू है ना विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस मैन माइनस थीटा वन टू प्लस थीटा टू यस और माइनस थीटा वन टू प्लस थीटा टू दैट इज अग्नेटिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूस एट पी एंड इट गोज इन टू द्लेन ऑफ दिवर्ड बिकॉज ऑल Which is like mu naught i by four pi bar chala jayega. Integral cos theta would be sine theta. Sine theta. Theta runs from minus theta one to plus theta two. Four pi. Sine theta two. Minus sine minus theta one. Right? Sine theta two minus sine. माइनस थीटा वन सो बी कितना आ गया बी आ गया म्यू नॉट आई बाय फोर पाइ साइन थीटा टू प्लस साइन थीटा वन ये हो बाय आर आर कहाँ चला एक आर होना चाहिए ना यहाँ पे एक आर होना एक आर होना चाहिए आर आर के इंडिपेंडेंट नहीं होगा फोर पाइ आर ये आर डाल दो बेटा सब जगह दैट्स अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूस Yes, sir. So, which means this is theta two, this is theta one. A current carrying wire is like this. All the DL cross Rs are into the plane of the board, so the V produced in this case is into mu naught by four pi R sine theta one plus sine theta two. This is generally now I prefer to write like this: mu naught I by two pi R into Sin theta one plus sin theta two by two. I said it now. Okay. Now, if the wire or lamba is made, then do you realize theta one and theta two will go on increasing? Yes. If the wire or lamba is made, then theta two will increase and theta one will increase. If the wire is very, very long, if it's an infinitely long wire, theta two will be 90 degrees and theta one will be 90 degrees. Right? Yes, yes sir. sir. For an infinitely long wire, theta one and theta two will become ninety degrees, and the field at a distance r. ये देखो ये ninety degrees हो जाएगा तो one plus one two by two one हो जाए, है ना? We will then mu yes, naught i by two pi. For an infinitely long time. Got me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, this is an infinitely long wire carrying a current over at a point P, distance r from this infinitely long wire. In this case, as our current is, then the field at P would be into the plane of the board and will be mu naught i by two pi for a very long wire, infinitely long wire. Why? Because if I Why is it into? हमेशा ऐसे देख लो 
because in the direction of the current, if you select the DLs, if you select the DLs, then all the DL cross R goes into the plane of the board because all the DL cross R is into the plane of the board. Okay? All the DL cross R goes into the plane of the board. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In fact, if this is a very long wire. ऐसा सोचो ये है बहुत लंबा right and it's carrying current like this it's carrying a current like this imagine a circle of radius r circle of radius r surrounding this one okay imagine a circle of radius r surrounding this one and if it's carrying a current i like this and if this was my point p samajh mein aa raha hai ha sir ऐसा एक सर्कल है दिस दिस राइट देयर इज अ सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस आर सराउंडिंग दिस राइट तो इस पी पे ना द फील्ड विल गो इनटू द प्लेन एंड विल बी टेंजेंशियल टू द सर्कल यस सर द फील्ड गोस इनटू एंड टेंजेंट टू द सर्कल एट पी It will go into and tangent to the circle at P. Yes. In fact, and will be of magnitude mu naught i by two pi r. अच्छा तो यहाँ पे ये tangent into गया. If there was a point P here, it will be tangent like this. At every point, it will be along the tangent. इसमें होगा इस point पे क्या हो जाएगा बाहर आ जाए. बाहर आ जाए. At every point, the field will be. Of magnitude mu naught i by two pi r and will be along the tangent. So this current carrying by goes the center of the circle. This is radius r, and if the current carrying by is like this, at every point it will be along the tangent and will be of the same. That will be the point. हर पॉइंट पे विल बी अलोंग द टेंजेंट टू द सर्कल ऑफ रेडियस आर राइट एंड वुड बी ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड म्यू नॉट आई बाय 2 पाई आर अभी आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस यस सर इसका थंब रूल राइट हैंड रूल ये देखो इसमें ना ऐसे कर्ल कर रहा है बी बी लाइंस ऐसे जा रहा है ऊपर से देखोगे तो ये यू नो इट विल बी लाइक दिस बी बी लाइंस आर कर्लिंग लाइक दिस If you want yes. to stop, right? So what you need to do is take your right hand in the direction of the current. Point the thumb. Curling of the fingers will tell you the curling of the B lines. Curling of the fingers. You see, fingers to ऐसे curl नहीं कर सकते. हाथ टूट जाएगा. Current ऐसे है. ऐसे curl करोगे. So that will give me the direction of the magnetic field. The sense of the magnetic field from point to point. It will always be along the tangent. And it will be like this, and B will be of magnitude. Click low, click low. We click it and both paper copy it. I'll write it on the board. For a very long straight current carrying wire. Wire. Take your right hand. Get close. Right hand. Point. Point the thumb in the direction of the current. Point the thumb in the direction of the current. The curling of the fingers will give the sense of the sense of the SI because the fingers are curling. SI curl time, 
एंड मैग्नीट्यूड हर पॉइंट पे सर्किट में म्यू नॉट आई बाई टू पाई आर होगा एंड इट बी टेंजेंट टू दिस सर्कल इट टर्न लाइक दिस ठीक है यस यस सर सपोज आई हैड करंट नीचे आ रहा है एंड एट अ डिस्टेंस आर एट वेरियस पॉइंट्स देयर आर इनफाइनाइट पॉइंट्स ऑफ द सर्कल एट अ डिस्टेंस आर अब इस केस में b will still be of magnitude mu not i by 2 pi r पर सेंस ऑफ b कैसे निकालेंगे सेंस ऑफ फाइंड इट बी अब ये देखो इसमें ऐसे करो i के टेक योर राइट हैंड अलोंग i प्लेस योर थंब और देखो कर्ल कैसे कर रहा है ऐसे कर कर्ल कर रहा है यू सी इट्स कर्लिंग लाइक दिस दैट मींस द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल बी बी लाइक दिस हर पॉइंट समझ में आया वेल बी मैथमेटिक एंड विल बी ऑफ मैग्नेट्यूड मू नॉट आई बाई टू पाई डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आई एम सेक दिस ट्वेलिंग ऐसा होता है बी लाइन्स का ऐसे करोगे तो बी लाइन्स ऐसे करो कर रहा है ऐसे करो कर एंड हर पॉइंट पे All these points are at a distance r, so magnetic magnitude of the field will be mu naught i by two pi r. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In fact, क्या होगा ना? अगर तुम एक cardboard लोगे, if you took a cardboard, because this was a cardboard. And this, this may say pierce कर के जा रहा है, I, ऐसा. And you sprinkled iron filings here. If you sprinkled iron filings here, तो ना वो ऐसा सर्पी में आ गया. Iron filings sprinkled like this, sir. Those will be magnetic field lines. Uh, all good so far? Yes, sir. Uh, circular arc. सेंटर ऑफ दिस आर्क दिस आर्क इज ऑफ रेडियस आर्क एंड से इट्स कैरिंग लाइक कैरिंग अ करेंट लाइक दिस And say this arc subtends an angle theta at this angle. This arc subtends an angle theta at this. This way, it will carry arc. This current carrying arc will be magnetic field at O. What will happen? It will be computed. Right? Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. So what I do is, I take this arc. This is carrying a current I. What I do is I break it up into several dl's. For every dl, I compute the magnetic field at O, and then sum it up. Yes. Right. Yes. Sir. So suppose I take an element like this. Suppose I take an element like this dl. Every dl will be tangent to the arc. 
This is my DL. This, of course, is the vector DL like this, whose magnitude is Q. This is R. This is R. And this vector will be like R. This vector will be like R. And this DL and R for every point will be perpendicular. This DL and R will be perpendicular at every point because this is along the tangent radius. Radius perpendicular to the tangent. Right? R. This current magnetic field can produce it. DP. At O. Is mu naught by 4 pi I. A vector DL cross this vector R by R cube. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, ye dekho. DL cross R kaha par hai? Ye DL hai, ye vector R hai. DL cross R goes into the plane of the board? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The direction of DL cross R, see DL like this, R like this. So, dekho, DL cross R is going into the plane. Into the plane? Yes, sir. That means, is the current to magnetic field hai, that's into at all? Yes, right? Yes, sir. So, dB also into the plane? For all DLs, Selected from P to Q. For all DLs selected from P to Q. All the dBs will be into the plane of the board, right? Yes. Sir. All dBs are in the same direction? Yes, sir. I can add the dBs like I add scalars? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, chalo, scalar dB, magnitude of dB can mu naught by 4 pi. I DL cross R. Dekho. DL is the magnitude lena hoga na? DL cross R ka magnitude kya hoga? Magnitude of DL magnitude of DB ke is the magnitude lena hoga. Magnitude of DL cross R will be DL into R into sin 90 degrees angle between DL and R. Yes, sir. Simply DL into R. Sin 90 is 1. Yes, sir. So yes, to the corresponding R's here. Right? Yes. Magnitude of dB would be mu naught by 4 pi I. Magnitude of this, which is like dL into R into sin 90 degrees divided by R cube. Yes. Right? Yes, sir. And it goes into the plane of the board. And since all the dBs are into, I can add them like I add scalars. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. So this is like dl by r squared, right? Yes, sir. Now, let's go sum up. Karna hai. Total, will be sum up all of this? That will be the net b at o? Yes, sir. Which is into the plane of the board. Ab ye dekho. Mu naught i 4 pi r is a constant set. Radius of the circle hai. So which is like mu naught i by 4 pi r squared into integral dl. Integral dl means what? Ye sara dl's ka length add karoge to circumference aa jayega na? Yes sir. If I add all these dl's, I'll get the circumference. Yes sir. Yes sir. Of all the dl's. R theta. R theta aa jayega? Yes sir. So will be circumference which is R theta. R, R into this angle theta. You know, that will be the length, arc length. Yes, sir. This is like B is mu naught I by 4 pi R squared integral dn is like R theta. Theta is in radius. Theta, theta radians mean. Theta and radius, the arc length is r theta. So this is like mu naught i by 2 pi 
अगर ये फुल सर्कल हो जाता तो चीटा कितना टू पाई होगा टू पाई हो जाता म्यूनोट आई बाई टू आर और फुल सर्कल चीटा विल बी टू पाई एंड बी वुड बी म्यूनोट आई डिवाइडेड बाई टू आर इट दिस और फुल सर्कल चीटा टू पाई हो जाएगा Yes or no? Yes, sir. All good? Yes, sir. ये करंट ऐसे फ्लो कर रहा था ऐसे फ्लो कर रहा था ये करंट और देखो ये फील्ड अंदर जा रहा था Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At all. So another thumb rule that I want you to remember for circular arcs. Can I write this out? Yes, sir. See, if there is a full circle of radius r, okay. So first of all, magnetic field at the center. What will happen? At o, mu naught i divided by two r, right? Yes. At the center o. Up. Suppose the current carried was anti-clockwise. I say. Clockwise. Suppose the current was clockwise. Field at O would be into the plane. Your right hand thumb. Curl your fingers in the sense of the current. The point, the thumb will give you the direction of the field. To find the radius of the direction of B at O. Curl your fingers. Of the right hand, left to this side, what will happen? Fingers of the right hand in the direction of the current in the direction of the current I. The thumb. ए जिस हैंड को कर्ल करोगे उसी का थंब देखोगे ठीक है यस सर द थंब विल पॉइंट इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ बी तो बी का मैग्नीट्यूड तो ये हो जाएगा एट द सेंटर यू नॉट आई बाय 2r राइट और डायरेक्शन कैसे निकालोगे सपोज करंट ऐसे फ्लो कर रहा है लाइक दिस हां तो कर्ल लाइक दिस हम गोइंग इनटू द प्लेन इसने इनटू है सो इसमें इट्स गोइंग टू बी इनटू अगर ऐसा है तो करंट सपोज करंट वाज लाइक दिस रेडियस आर इट विल तब क्या होगा कर्ल योर फिंगर्स इन द सेंस ऑफ द करंट द थंब गोस आउट ऑफ द प्लेन ऑफ द बी राइट सो इन दिस केस ये आउट ये इनटू के लिए होता है दिस इज फॉर आउट सो फील हियर फील बी इज इनटू द बोल्ड At O, in this case, P at O comes out of the plane. ये into का sign है, ये बाहर आने का sign. Yes or no? Yes sir. 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 Yes sir.